If you want to know how to write a good research paper in a Scopus Index Journal, do you want to know the list of low paid free Scopus Index Journals? Then you have come to the right place. Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasir, Skelto. My dear learners, in this video, we are going to talk about how to avoid the predatory journals. It is very important to avoid the predatory journals while searching proper UGC care listed journals for your next article submission. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, as you can see, University Grants Commission, they have a very nice list for the UGC care. Though, for example, in Australia, we have ERA, Excellence in Research in Australia. And they have listed a lot of journals under ERA and they already pointed out which are the journals we should avoid in order to consider as a predatory journal. And in this particular case, the Indian context, as for example, we can show how you can find the proper journal without selecting a predatory journal. So, first of all, you go to the University Grant Commission UGC CARE list website. This is the list and this is the link you can easily find in my video description box. Then go down and you will see that these journals are part of UGC CARE list as group 2 and searchable through following links. So, first of all, Web of Science and Scopus. Now, most of the cases, Scopus index journals are very hard to access because if your university does not have the access to the Scopus database, you may not get the access to find the proper journal from the Scopus index journals. However, there is a nice trick where you can select the Web of Science journal easily using your ORCID ID. Now, let's assume that from this list, Arts and Humanities, Science and Social Science Citation Index, I just select one of these index. You can select based on your subject domain and you can easily access by clicking that link. Now, once you are in this particular link, you know, if you click the login option, you will find that there is a always login option using your ORCID ID and your LinkedIn profile. In my opinion, it is best you use your ORCID ID. Now, how to create the ORCID ID? Every researcher should have this ORCID ID because nowadays all the journals who are asking for submission while submitting your manuscript to their journals, they will ask ORCID ID. Now, if you go to the ORCID, you will see that this is the ORCID connecting research and researchers. This is your ORCID website. I will share the link in the video description box. Now here also you can select sign with the Google, which means you can sign in using your Gmail account. Now the question is doctor, which Gmail address I should use? Now here you can use it very smartly. Now in my case, you can see this is my Google Scholar profile. And in my case, the Google Scholar profile is my university email address. Now, if you have your institutional email address, very important, institutional email address, use that email address to log in to your ORCID ID. And in this case, I'm using my institutional Gmail. And that is a very, very important. Remember that, okay? Now, let's assume that I already have my ORCID ID created using my Gmail address. Once you create it, there should be a number. Okay, so I click this one. Okay, ORCID will give you an ID. Okay, so the ID is a six, 16 digit numbers. 16 digit numbers, you can see 16 digit numbers. And I have my 16 digit ORCID ID number. Okay, now they will ask you to put the password and you can use your own password. You sign into the ORCID ID. You are in the system of web of science. There are many avenue you can search your journals. You see? Welcome Dr. Munshi Nasir. You are already in the web of science domain. Now here you can see match manuscript search journals. If I click the search journals, you will see there is a box. Now check the language journals. Many of my viewers asking for English literature, Hindi literature or linguistic. So in that case, if you would like to search a proper UGC care journal, then you just put the box language journals and search the journals. Once you search it, you will find all the relevant, all the relevant suggestions of the journals. You can see open access, 
categories, country, language, frequency, journal, citation reports. You can filter any of them and it's all are free. Now, let's assume that the one of the journal of this one is suggesting me to publish in a web of science index journal. So, all I have to do, go to the view profile page, okay, and you see that there is a journal website. Click the journal website link and it will direct to you the journal where you can submit. And as you can see here that in my previous video, I have talked about many of the Malaysian, Indonesian, Turkish journals where you can submit your next article, which are basically UGC care list. Now here you can see that language, linguistic literature, the Southeast Asian journal, it's a Q1 journal and it is a Malaysian journal, University Kabangsa, Malaysia, UKM. And it is a Scopus index. Okay. Now, another example I journal. I would like to submit any my next paper in a banking journal. Now we can say that there are almost 20 results given you in general journal of central banking, Frankfurt, Germany. Go to this journal website profile, and you can see they are here. The journal web central banking, and you can see everything is here. The editors and submission information everything it also a q1 journal so now if i wrap up everything first of all you go to the ugc care list and then go to the web of science any of this link you can choose either arts science or social science before you enter into the link you have to create the orchid id and in order to create the orchid id you go to the orchid id using your gmail address which are in institutional affiliation link and then you go just to this particular website, Web of Science, where you can search your journal, match your manuscript. Very nice. You can put your title over here. You can put your abstract and then find your journal. How interesting is that? A website will search a proper journal for you without falling under predatory journal submission problem. Find a proper journal and avoid predatory journal. Thank you so much, my dear learners. I will see you in the next tutorial with a wonderful new information. Thank you. Bye-bye.